What's happening? It's Shane here. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the industries that are starting to hire the most amount of people. And this is a report that just came out. Now, obviously, over the last year or two, industries have been shut down. The economy's basically been partially shut down. And so a lot of people were laid off. A lot of people were without work, but things are starting to open up. And in the next one to two years, in fact, maybe even one to three years, I think personally, this is going to be maybe the biggest opportunity in your entire lifetime if you want to have a job opportunity. And what I mean by that is, let's say you are trying to get your first job ever. There's gonna be a lot of opportunity for that. Let's say you are somebody who is in a job, but you want to transition into a different career. Again, a lot of opportunity. And it's also going to be good for you if you're somebody who is working in a company, but you want to try to get a promotion. Because of the fact that there are so many jobs opening up and people are also thinking about quitting their jobs and maybe switching careers, this is basically going to be a giant game of musical chairs. I told y'all. <laughs> except instead of chairs, it's going to be jobs. Now, a lot of people are kind of freaking out about this, but in my opinion, it's very similar to the stock market when a lot of people are freaking out that is the time that you want to buy. So you definitely want to be able to take advantage of this within the next two to three years. Now, one of the largest search engines slash uh, job boards out there, which is Adzuna, just recently released some data showing which industries are starting to hire people. Now, this is incredibly valuable because it's going to show you where a lot of the opportunity is, right? This all goes back to supply and demand. If there is a huge supply of jobs and there's not enough demand or people to fill them, then people are going to start paying more for those jobs. They're gonna start actively seeking people out. It's gonna be much easier for you to land them. And we are going to get right into that right after you gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out on this valuable content. All right, guys, super excited to talk about this one today. The number 10 industry on the list is going to be scientific and quality assurance. And this is especially exciting for my science grads out there. Something I've talked about many times on this channel is unfortunately when you're talking about STEM degrees, which is science, technology, engineering, mathematics, science is kind of like a little s, right? So it's not nearly as good as the other ones, at least you know when you're talking from a financial standpoint. And especially when you're talking about getting a bachelor degree, right? A lot of the time, if you graduate with a science degree, you're gonna have to get a master's or sometimes even a doctorate. But it looks like there are a ton of jobs opening up when it comes to scientific and quality assurance. And there's a ton of different jobs out there that are related to this, but uh, Glassdoor has quality assurance directors making about $121,000 per year. So yeah, really exciting one. You would likely need a degree in order to get into a lot of these careers. But the next one on the list, number nine, is one that you don't need a degree for, and that is going to be customer service. Now in general, right now, the service industry simply does not have enough people. So it's easier than ever for you to get a job in the service industry uh, and this could be anywhere from being like a waiter to being someone who answers questions over the phone. And this is a great one because you don't actually need a degree. So I always like to give examples of different careers that you don't necessarily need a degree in order to get into. And this could even be a great opportunity for people who are currently attending college, right? So if you wanna get a job where you don't have to work that much and you make pretty dang good money in just a few hours of work, you know, sometimes if you're working like a Saturday evening, you can make a couple hundred dollars. Then becoming a waiter is a very solid option. And I also think it's almost like a rite of passage for everyone at some point during their life to get a customer service job, right? You don't wanna end up becoming a Karen later on in life because you don't understand what it's like to work customer service. So yeah, this is a very good sign as well. Next one on the list is going to be manufacturing. Now this is one where people can get jobs at pretty much every level. So you can get a job if you have like a master's in engineering, even a doctorate in engineering in the manufacturing industry. And you can also get a job if you have zero education at all, you didn't even graduate high school. So yeah, very solid option for a wide range of people. There's so many different careers in the manufacturing industry, I can't even pick one to show you, but yeah, it would 
would be very smart for you to look at different companies that are involved in manufacturing and see what positions they are advertising. Next one on the list, number six is going to be accounting and finance. Another one I've talked about quite a bit on this channel, accounting and finance are both fantastic degrees. On top of that, the finance industry is known to hire people who don't necessarily have accounting or finance degrees, but instead they have a background in maybe mathematics, engineering, or physics. And there are a lot of very high paying jobs in the finance industry. There's a lot of upward mobility as well, but it is pretty tough. You know, you've heard stories about Goldman Sachs employees working like 80 plus hours a week. So I'd say that's one of those industries where depending what job you're trying to get into um, it's a very high stress but also high reward type of career so that can be great for the right person number five on the list is going to be engineering no surprise at all to see this here lots of companies are going to be advertising for people who graduate with engineering degrees whether or not it is for a specific engineering job or they just kind of want to hire someone that they know is going to be very smart and very hard working so companies are always trying to hire engineers pretty much any time whether there is a pandemic going on in the world or not. Now, this one is, of course, going to be limited to people who graduate with an engineering degree, so probably isn't going to apply to most people watching this video. Number four on the list, however, is going to be sales, which is something that pretty much anyone can do no matter your education level. So you can get a sales job without even getting like a high school GED or you can get a sales job as a doctorate, right? So for instance, in the pharmaceutical industry, there is a career known as medical liaison, and a lot of people graduate with, you know, as pharmacists, as medical doctors, sometimes even PhDs, and they become medical liaisons. And basically your job as a medical liaison is to explain new drugs to doctors. So doctors are gonna have a lot of questions on new drugs that come out, seeing if it's gonna be right for their patients, and so you need to not only have the technical skills to be able to read clinical trials and all that sort of thing, but you need to be able to also articulate that to a doctor in a way that makes them want to try it out for their patients and see if it's the right drug for them, right? So it's a great combination of technical skill along with sales skills and just being able to communicate. And then of course you see sales jobs at literally every level. Uh, one of the first jobs I ever had was doing sales and it's one of my favorite jobs to this day. And this is coming from someone who is an introvert. I think it was maybe one of the best choices I ever made to get a sales job because it really just got me out of my shell. Uh, taught me skills like communication. And then later on, I took the skills that I learned from that job and basically started my own little mini side hustle slash business during college. So yeah, lots of jobs opening up in sales. Another career path where I, it's almost like a rite of passage. I think everybody should get a sales job at least once during their lifetime. Next one on the list, number three is going to be IT, also known as information technology. Now this of course is going to be in the technology industry, which is one of the best industries that you can possibly work in. So much opportunity, so much growth. Companies tend to treat their employees really well. Now with information technology, you can get a bachelor degree in order to get into it. That's totally fine. However, there are alternative ways for you to go into it. You can get certifications, you can kind of self-teach. So it really just depends on what your plans are, what your current skills are, et cetera. Next one on the list is going to be logistics and warehouse. So a few degrees, a few careers that might apply to this would be uh, supply chain management and industrial engineering. And this is one I have talked about a lot lately. Um, Amazon, probably one of the most powerful companies in the world, got that way because they mastered logistics and supply chain management. Okay, so this is the future. It only is getting bigger and bigger. The ability to get a product from point A to point B, you know, from the company, you know, making the product to the end user in a super efficient way that doesn't waste any time, space, or money is incredibly valuable. So if you are somebody who's able to do that, if you have the skills to do that, optimizing processes, it is a super valuable skill and it's one of those skills that's gonna get even more valuable uh, over the next 10 or 20 years in my opinion. Now, number one on the list, no surprise here at all, this is my industry healthcare and nursing. Now, the CEO of Adzuna in this article mentioned that, you know, healthcare by far 
was the one that had the most job openings and job opportunities. And that doesn't surprise me at all. You know, if you look at BLS projections, they project that healthcare is going to grow the most as an industry out of all different types of industries and job types. The second most is technology, but healthcare is by far the best. And then healthcare is just classically known as one of the most stable careers that you can get into. And then on top of that, just kind of using common sense, think about it. You know, even if we're in an apocalyptic scenario, the world's about to end in a few days, people are still going to be getting sick. They're going to be needing people to take care of them. And so there's still gonna be doctors and nurses, et cetera, working, right? So it really doesn't matter what happens, what type of scenario the world goes into, what pathway we go down, there's still always going to be demand for healthcare workers. Doctors and doctor aides, probably one of the oldest professions known to mankind. And I don't think that's ever going to change. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.